But perhaps the most alarming trend in modern food processing today uh, is the extreme concentration of certain nutrients, uh, especially sugars. So the most common and perhaps most harmful example is, is soda, which is actually really a kind of liquid candy. Um, soda is really just this absurd concentration of a natural product that is almost always rare in nature, and that's sugar. We are not evolved to eat large quantities of sugar. In fact, before the 18th century, few people had ever even tasted refined sugar. Now, fruits and honey contain some forms of sugar, but they also contain a lot of other things. They contain fiber and pectins and complex oligosaccharides, and they aren't really comparable to the kinds of refined sugars that you see in soda. Also, the quantity of, so of sugar in soda is, is really draw-dropping. So, for example, if you take this, this lovely 20-ounce um, Sunkist, um, it contains 72 grams of sugar, um, which is really astounding. So, 72 grams, that's 36 sugar packets. So I just want you to imagine in your mind, you're preparing coffee in the morning, you're just putting in 36 sugar packets. It's really quite absurd. Um, and like, what's even more crazy is if you think, if you had to go, if you were an ancient person and you had to go acquire this much sugar from a natural source, well, you will have to work really hard because this is how much sugar cane you would have to eat in order to consume 72 grams of sugar. It would almost be physically impossible for you to do it. I mean, it would take some serious effort. Um, and at least in Oklahoma, where I live, what I see is actually not that many people drinking sodas of this size. I see a lot of people with 44-ounce sodas, um, which is just crazy. And um, that's about, let's see, well, this is a six feet of sugar cane. That's about 91 packets of sugar, which is just crazy. You're almost baking a cake at that point. So um, just keep in mind how much, how much sugar is in it. The real problem is, you see, is that we can't modulate our digestion of sugar. I mean, this was something we never had in abundance in the past. We don't really have any defenses to sugar. We digest it immediately. Um, and it causes extreme spikes in our blood sugar. And it wreaks havoc on our pancreas and our long-term metabolism.